On August the 15th, 1977, a radio telescope called a Big Ear detected a radio signal from somewhere in the vicinity of the constellation Sagittarius. And this is the printout from that night. You can see that somewhere around quarter past 10 Eastern Standard Time, a very bright radio signal pulsed in. It looks something like this. You can sketch it out. It was a, a pulse with a width of around 72 seconds. And the peak intensity, the peak brightness, was over 30 times the brightness of the, the background radio emission from the galaxy. So it's fascinating. And it came in on a wavelength that SETI believes an intelligent civilization might choose. The same wavelength etched into Voyager's golden disk. The wavelength was 21 centimetres. That's the wavelength of light, of radio waves emitted from hydrogen atoms. So the whole sky glows at that wavelength. And back in the 1950s, radio astronomers speculated that if an alien civilization wanted to communicate with us, then they might well choose that very special, natural wavelength to send their message. So surprising was this, that when it was spotted a few days later by an astronomer called Jerry Amon, he circled that pulse, that 72 second flash of radio waves and wrote wow next to it. So this has become known as the wow signal. Today, over 35 years after the WOW signal was detected, there's still no satisfactory explanation. It doesn't seem to have been local, a military signal or a satellite, and indeed nobody's supposed to transmit at the hydrogen line frequency. It's reserved for radio astronomy. But scientific results have to be repeatable. And even though we've turned our telescopes in the direction of Sagittarius many times since, nobody has ever heard anything. So, I suppose it has to remain just an interesting anomaly.